Today, Denison Yachting is in Miami, Florida to walk you through a 147-foot super yacht built by Sensation Yachts of New Zealand. Originally launched in 2006, Golden Touch 2 features six large staterooms, four decks, a huge foredeck, and one of the largest master staterooms you'll find on a yacht under 180 feet. Her massive fiberglass hull jumps out to the eye because of her custom All Craft 2000 ruby red topside paint job. This imposing super yacht has three distinct features on board worth pointing out before we start today's walkthrough. The first is her circular three-story elevator. Found in the salon, it services all three decks. She also has a luminous and airy master stateroom on the second and third deck. Adding to this view is her private balcony. The third feature of note is her jacuzzi deck, which offers a panoramic view of the bow and your surroundings. Today's walkthrough has us starting on Golden Touch 2's teak swim platform. Her European style transom design has stairs leading up both port and starboard. Her garage, which is full beam, features a complete onboard machine shop which can repair almost anything mechanical or electrical while underway. This has a huge benefit when the vessel is on charters. Also found in the workspace are two of the six washing machines found on board. And on the port side are a pair of commercial frigid air refrigerators and freezers. Heading forward from the garage on the port side is an air-conditioned control room in which the yacht's engineer can monitor the engine room and even have limited control of the main engines and generators. The control room also has a computer that manages vessel alarms and tank levels. Next is our engine room. Golden Touch 2 is powered by a pair of CAT 3516B engines, each 3,000 horsepower, the highest horsepower available when she was built. She has a cruising speed of 18 to 20 knots with a top speed of around 25 knots. For long range cruising, she burns only 50 gallons per hour at 9 knots. This efficiency allows her to have a transatlantic range of 3,500 miles. Let's pick back up on the aft deck. The large aft deck provides alfresco dining for at least a dozen guests. Underfoot is a teak sole. Above the entry doors is a CCTV camera, one of several cameras on board, which are monitored from the pilot house. There are wide walk around side decks leading forward to a set of stairs that take you up towards the foredeck. Passing through a pair of stainless steel actuated doors, we enter her elegant main salon. This voluminous space is swallowed by light. Underfoot at the entrance is granite and onyx flooring. Aft and on the port side is a wet bar. This bar services both the salon and the aft deck, which combine for a huge entertaining space. Forward of the bar are three large upholstered couches that form an elegant conversation pit. Behind the outboard couches are floor-to-ceiling windows which offer an amazing view. Beyond the seating area is her glass-enclosed elevator servicing all three decks. Beyond the elevator on the port side is a wine closet with a transtherm wine cooler that can hold well over 60 bottles. Between here and the elevator is a spiral staircase that we'll revisit later. Continuing forward to starboard leads us into the marble-covered foyer. Here we find a pair of traditional starboard side access doors. Next, let's take a look at her media room. This private theater is one of the main attractions for guests on board. Imagine unwinding in here after a day in the sun and watching your favorite team play. Her drop-down projection screen is 60 inches with a projector mounted on the aft bulkhead. This media room holds just a small portion of the onboard AV equipment. A hidden feature is the dedicated stemware storage installed on the back of the soundproof door. 
The cocktail bar on the forward bulkhead adds to the elegance of her radial wall design. This granite bar has a fridge and an ice maker. Sticking to the port side, let's take a look at the formal dining salon. This space also functions perfectly as a meeting room. Twelve Parson-style chairs are on all sides of a huge frosted glass table. On the forward bulkhead to starboard is the entrance to a cruise nook. This prep area is outfitted with a wine cooler and an ice maker. To port are stairs that lead up to the pilot house, which we'll come back to later. Just before the stairs is the entrance to the galley, which features stainless counters and commercial grade appliances. On the port side is a trash compactor, an Emile espresso and coffee machine. Found below the center counter is a food warmer and a lot more storage. Next, we have a deep fryer, and then a total of 10 ceramic cooktop burners above a GE profile oven. To port is a Wells grill with a Panasonic convection oven below. Over this area of the galley is a stainless steel exhaust hood. To port is an Electrolux dishwasher, and then on the aft bulkhead are a pair of Electrolux over-under refrigerator freezers. Let's step outside of the galley and take these stairs down to the crew quarters. At the foot of the stairs into starboard is the crew lounge. Across the hall is the laundry center which has four commercial grade washer dryer combo units. Forward are her four crew cabins, accommodating a crew of eight. They feature over under berths with ensuite heads. Now let's head back through the formal dining salon and take a look at the on deck VIP stateroom. Just before we reach the VIP, we pass the on deck powder room. We next come to the office with a beautiful and functional desk and a love seat. Now emerging into the full beam VIP stateroom, we see her centerline queen berth flanked by his and hers hanging lockers. To starboard is custom built-in cabinetry. On the aft bulkhead is a sharp Aquos TV. On the port side is a desk and drawer storage. Befitting the elegant VIP stateroom is a very spacious marble head with his and her sinks, a jacuzzi tub, and a shower. Let's leave the VIP and head aft, back to the starboard entrance foyer. Here we find a stairway that takes us down to the lower guest accommodations. Aft are the two king staterooms. These each feature a drop-down TV. Both of these staterooms have their own ensuite head and shower. Forward are the two guest staterooms with twin berths. The mirrored forward bulkhead gives these rooms the appearance of extra depth. Each twin stateroom has its own ensuite head with a shower. Now let's take the spiral staircase back up, past the main deck, for a look at the pilot house. At the helm, on the port side, we find a monitor that ties into the yacht's CCTV security system. She also has a pair of Garmin 8000 series multifunction displays, which provide flexible inputs of the ship's GPS, plotter, radar, and other electronics. Continuing across the top of the console are a pair of CAT engine displays. On the starboard side is the ship system monitor. Jumping back to port is a searchlight control and the wiper switches. Just above the throttles are the stop start engine functions. Center line is her Furuno radar plotter. Directly below are her rudder indicators. On the starboard side are bow and stern thruster controls. 
outboard or her ICOM radio, stabilizer controls, Centerline behind the helm is a large, comfortable settee which allows guests to watch what's going on. The ship's office and nav table is on the aft port side which allows the captain to do some old-fashioned navigation. Up here we also find the captain's quarters with an ensuite head so they're able to stand long watches while underway. Let's leave the pilot house and move towards the bow. On both sides of her Portuguese bridge are a pair of wing stations. They have engine controls, plus bow and stern thruster controls. Moving forward from the pilot house is a wide walkthrough, which traverses her two massive sun pads. Each side features a six-person table. The foredeck offers a 270 degree panoramic view. Continuing forward, we arrive at the bow. On the bow are a pair of jet skis with their own launching davit, as well as her massive ground tackle, which includes a pair of Maxwell 11,000 pound capstans connected to the ship's one ton plow anchors on 500 feet of chain and line. From here, let's retrace our steps and head aft to the main salon on our way to view the two-story master stateroom. This master can be accessed by either the elevator or the spiral stairs behind the elevator. The entire second deck is dedicated to the master stateroom. Center line and facing aft is a king berth with nightstands on either side. Facing aft is a drop-down TV that's recessed into the ceiling. Flanking the berth is a ton of storage. On the port side is a pop-up vanity. Continuing forward on the port side brings us to the elegant his and her layout ensuite. On the forward bulkhead are four doors. Of the three we see here, the one on the left is a stall with a head. The second is a walk-in closet being used for storage. Behind the third door is the shower stall. Behind the fourth door is a head and bidet. Centerline in the ensuite is a custom jacuzzi tub. Now leaving the ensuite, we step back into the master to take a look at the master lounge. This airy space has a wraparound view with very large windows, giving the space a calming atmosphere with its love seat and two armchairs. Aft of here is the private master balcony. This open air retreat is the best possible place to start your morning and get ready for a long day of relaxation. Directly overhead is the third deck where we see this wind sheltered balcony. Both of the private balconies have teak decks and they provide a large area for lounging. Forward, stepping inside, is the Sky Lounge. All the way aft is a pop-up TV. With two sofas to port and starboard and a centerline armchair, this space comfortably accommodates seven. Overhead are a pair of skylights. Facing forward now, we see the elevator. To port is the Sky Lounge bar, with space for a fridge and an ice maker. On the starboard side is the day head. Let's pass through the day head and take a look at our final stop on today's walkthrough, the jacuzzi deck. The jacuzzi is large enough for four people to comfortably enjoy a brisk evening with a bottle of champagne. To port and starboard are a pair of large sun pads. From the jacuzzi deck, we have an expansive view of the foredeck, as well as our surroundings. At 147 feet, Golden Touch 2 has a lot to offer. Her size, her ruby red hull, and the 24 karat railings that are not only eye-catching, but also impervious to salt water. 
However, it's her layout that impresses the serious yachtsman the most. Her contemporary salon, all-inclusive master stateroom, and two private balconies all speak to the level of distinction that this super yacht offers. On behalf of the team here at Denison Yachting, we'd like to thank you for joining us on board Golden Touch 2. If you'd like a detailed spec sheet or would like to see her in person, please reach out to Kit Denison anytime.